Hey guys, so today we're starting a one month adventure around the US. Today is the 19th of May. We're leaving Berkeley, we're leaving our apartment, we're taking all our stuff and we're taking a flight to Salt Lake City. From Salt Lake City we're gonna go up to Yellowstone, then down to Salt Lake City, then go back down to south of Utah, spend a week there and then fly to Southern California and then finish our adventure back in Berkeley and after that we're flying back to Hong Kong. Hey guys, so we just arrived in Salt Lake City after about an hour and 40 minute flight from Oakland and we're going to light rail to uh, catch a train to go all the way to downtown to our Airbnb. And apparently it's only $2.50 to get from the airport to Airbnb, so sounds like a good deal. Hey guys, so we arrived here at Airbnb in downtown Salt Lake City. It's about 8.30 p.m. now. We're gonna get out and get some food because tomorrow morning we're getting a car from Turo and then driving up to Yellowstone, which is gonna take up about five hours. So we'll see you tomorrow when we're driving up. Morning, so today we actually managed to get our car from Turo, which is like the Airbnb for cars. So let's check it out. Ah, so. This is 2013, you can see it's like 100,000 miles over, so it's a pretty old car in a way, but it looks okay inside, it's got like leather seats and everything, so. We now, we're basically gonna get out and go to the camping shop, take all our stuff, see if it fits into the car, and then we're gonna start a long, long trip up to Wyoming, to Yellowstone, we're gonna go through Idaho, Minnesota and Wyoming. So we're gonna run through four states today. So I'm really excited. All right, so we got to the camping shop and we got all our rentals. So what we have is a half dome two plus tent. We've got a stove so we can cook something. And we have like two propane bottles to uh, fire up the stove. Uh, so these are the sleeping bags. These are the mats so that it's more comfortable to lie down. We actually had to buy these uh, headlamps so that you know when it's completely dark and we're cooking something or inside the tent, at least we get some light. That's all. Right next to the rental shop, there is a second-hand store that is huge, and how convenient it is that we can get a pan here for as little as three dollars or four dollars. Amazing. We're also gonna get a knife. These ones are one dollar. I love this circular economy. So we bought all this uh, kitchenware very cheaply and when we get back we're gonna return and then somebody else can buy them again. made it to Idaho Falls which is three and a half hour drive from Salt Lake City I am completely knackered been driving like since noon but it's so beautiful here it was actually worth it obviously we're on the way to uh, Yellowstone but we just had to come here because we saw all the pictures very very beautiful park there's some geese walking around and I assume those are the Idaho Falls over there Okay, Tokai has a confession to make. So just before we got the car, um, the owner told me that uh, he glued these two things together, the key and the control. <laughs> and then obviously when I started driving, they fell off. Um, so the way that this works now is put this in like that. And try and like get it to a second. And then I use this. <laughs> God. So that's the reality. That's the situation right now. We made it to Yellowstone! Yay! Yay. <laughs> it's about 6.30 p.m. Still bright outside so we're now heading to the campsite and they gave us all the pamphlets with the maps and stuff and check this out. Ooh. It's very dangerous. 
I think it's a high chance we're gonna encounter bears and we need to be prepared for that so we're gonna have a read at this and take precautions of course this is our home for the next five days <laughs> so we got the firewood got the table okay let's set up the tent We woke up at about 7 a.m. which is super late by Yellowstone standards. Um, it was raining the whole night and I couldn't sleep at all. I was like up until probably 2 a.m. and then I managed to fall asleep. Um, and it's super cold as well in the morning so it's, it's, you know, it's probably below freezing for sure. So we just woke up, we're gonna make some breakfast and then we need to get out on the road because apparently the roads get clogged up really quickly and if you want to see the best sights you better get out early because people are coming from outside of the park as well. impressions amazing it's like being on Mars honestly like I don't think I've ever seen anything like this I haven't been to New Zealand or other places where you have geysers or Iceland so for me this is like an amazing experience right now just came out of, out of the coffee shop and then the geyser was just shooting up like crazy and it only happens between 40 to uh, 40 minutes to 120 minutes apparently so we were super lucky you can see there's no one here now because everybody knows the schedule This place is a bit dangerous, you can't see where you're walking. You don't want to get off this um, path as well. They said that if you, if you um, get off the path, the ground is actually a thin crust and there's like underneath basins. So if you, you know, if you step on it, there's potentially like a basin underneath so you can fall through and you know, burn yourself and stuff. And it's acidic so it can uh, burn through your uh, boots and rubber and etc. So it's a lot of fun.
how cool it is. Some geysers that are actually inside the lake. It's pretty incredible. Some people throw coins inside. It's so bad. And they have to come and clean it up. Hey guys, so we're here for lunch. We were driving around since 8 a.m. this morning and basically, um, you know, popping between different spots. And we were driving along the Yellowstone Lake. And it's a massive, massive lake, and they have picnic tables all along the road. And we just basically picked one with the best view. And have a look at this. Pretty cool. Look at those mountains. And you can see there's a few picnic tables. Maria is now making some lunch for me. You're gonna eat as well? <laughs> no, I'm here just to cook for you. Yeah, that's why we brought you here. Look at this, this is a dragon mouth hot spring. It really looks like one. We've been to Geysers all morning and this is the first time that it actually smells. <laughs> yeah, it stinks like hell. <laughs> but this is what we imagine and nothing else smells so at least we're like seeing something we imagine. <laughs> So we arrived at um, the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. It looks really different, but it's canyon nonetheless, and it's it looks quite interesting. Check it out. Hey guys, to be honest, the highlight of today was none other than this Grand Canyon. It's just so beautiful because it was formed by volcanic rock and it has so many different colors from amber to red to orange. And I think it's really underrated. Like I have never seen a picture of this on Instagram or YouTube or anywhere. So um, definitely recommend anyone who's in Yellowstone to make sure they come to this point. And there are absolutely amazing points to take pictures of the whole rim and the waterfalls and the, and the river itself, so impressed. We just made it back to our camping ground and I have to say after a full day of exploring we're shattered. So we're taking a little nap here inside the car. We can't get out of the car to our tent because we're so tired so we just decided to uh, recline <laughs> the seats and get on with it. Um, so yeah, it's been a nice day and we got more coming in the next couple of days so stay tuned check the description box subscribe you know what to do <laughs> bye